Welcome fellow folders to this brand new video and if you can't already tell from the title we are doing another paper unboxing video. Now inside here is I can't remember how many sheets of Oregon Middle this time. The last video of unboxing I did was Ogami. This time it is Oregon Middle. So a little story before I open up this paper because I, I am excited. It took a while to arrive. Now, a while back, maybe like, yeah, a few years ago, maybe three, four years ago, um, I first heard of Origami Shop US. Now, I know of Origami Shop. Uh, I did not know Origami Shop US at the time when I first uh, seen it somewhere. I think I, I think it was on the Origami Dan Discord. Someone had posted Origami Shop US and I was thinking to myself, what is what is that? Is that origami shop, or is it just to, is it just referring to that shop to something about the US? Um, I, I I had no clue. So at that time, I posted on my Instagram, basically asking what's the difference between origami shop and origami shop US? Because I I thought it was just a, a different URL to the same website to origami shop. But um, someone said it is a completely different shop. Um, the origami shop is in the US, uh, or, uh, yeah, and the, origami, the normal origami shop is in France, I believe. I can't remember. I think it is. But yeah, two different shops. Um, I was completely surprised. I was not expecting two different shops. So I went on to the shop. This was a few years ago. Um, I saw all this amazing paper. Um, I, went, I clicked on all of it, looked at it all, thought wow this is this is really nice. Um, now the thing I noticed was they have a lot more Ogami, they sell Ogami, um, I don't think Origami Shop uh, does originally, I can't remember, um, but they sell Ogami and Oregon Middle, no it was the Oregon Middle, no wait, it was the Ogami, yeah I'm confusing myself. But yeah, they sold lots of those and I noticed that they sold a lot more of those two than the, the, the normal Origami Shop website. So I'm thinking, brilliant, they have a lot more colours, a lot more thicknesses, um, good sizes as well and the pictures of the paper are really nice. So I thought, I think I've hit the jackpot, I'm going to order um, Origami Middle. So I, at that time I had like 30 sheets in the basket. I went through the whole process, put in all my information, went to click pay and then at the very bottom it says we do not ship um, to the UK or outside of the US, I think it was and I was I was so sad when I saw that message. Knowing that I could not get a hold of this paper and it was quite annoying because I got all excited, I'm going to get more paper. Um, but at the end, I could not get, uh, I could not buy it because they did not send outside the US, I believe. So that was the end of that point. Now fast forward a few years later, up until about four, three months ago, um, when I later found out that my friend James Peak is the owner of the Origami Shop US website. So I asked him at the time, is there any possible chance that you could maybe send to the UK because I would love to buy some paper from you and he very kindly was like, give me five minutes, I'm going to update the website, I'm going to make it so I can, so the UK is um, it's an option to send to, which he did and then he said, uh, go ahead, make the order again because I'd already sent him pictures of the paper that I would have liked to uh, for him to keep back for me while I place the order in case anyone buys it. So he did that, he made the option to send to the UK possible for me which is such a nice thing to do. I don't know how hard it is on his behalf to do that but it was an extremely kind gesture and so I placed the order and yeah that was it. He, he couldn't find a way to ship to the UK. Now I don't know how it is from shipping from the US to the UK. I don't know what type of uh, postal services that you use. For me, I use uh, Royal Mail. I can ship worldwide. It's, it's straightforward, it's simple. Um, 
I've not had any, like, if I go on post paper, I've never had a situation where the, the work, the employee says, we don't ship to that country, you can't, you can't uh, send it. But that's on my behalf. On James's behalf, um, he took a while to constantly try and send me this paper. Eventually, he did, which was amazing. He kept updating me and I kept saying to him, James, do not worry. I want this paper. Take as long as you need to try and get this to me. And it arrived a few days ago, which again, I was so grateful for this to arrive. He was thanking me so much on um, for being so kind to him, for saying don't rush, take your time. Uh, I want this paper, so make sure you can try to go about doing that. So again, James, if you're watching, thank you so much. Everyone, go check out Origami Shop US. It's in the description, it's in the comments. Check out the store. Um, I believe they ship. I'm not too sure on if they ship um, to other countries outside the UK, outside the US. So you can have a little check, I can ask him for you if you want. But anyway, that is basically the story. James, you're such a nice person for doing this and I really cannot thank you enough. Now, I've been waiting to unbox this, so let's, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Now, one thing I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised with is the tube. I've never seen a triangular tube before and it is rock solid, it is so rock solid, it is like a brick, so it is well protected, that's what I'm most impressed by. When I first seen the tube I'm like, who sent me this? And then I realised, because I've never been sent a tube like this before, for all the time, for all the places that I've ordered. So, let's get on to this. Well packaged as well. I'm just going to cut off all the tape because I don't know how this tube unboxes, if it's like a normal one or is it going to unfold all together at the same time. We shall find out. There's only one part here. Yeah, so that's all done. So let me just show you the box. Because why not? It's a cool looking box. I need to show this box. Yeah, I'm going to keep this as well. This is. The first of its kind to uh, be opened by me, this type of box. I've never had this before. But yeah, that is the box. How cool is that? Um, oh, so it does open up. How cool is that? Oh wow. It's got bolt. I was not expecting multiple layers. That, that's so cool. Where do you get these type of boxes? I need to take a video of this. I'm going to do a promotional thing for him as well. That's good enough. This is an extremely unique box, I've never seen one like this before, does it come up more? Oh yeah, this part needs to pop through. Wow. Where do you get these type of boxes? I've never seen them before. Wait, is, does this part come through? Does it need to force it? Maybe I need to cut it. Oh, it goes through fine. So, here we go. Wow. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's get rid of that box. So here we have the paper, the Oregon Meadow. I really wanted to build up this collection because I only had a few sheets before. 
before I unboxed my previous unboxing of this video and I've been really feeling like folding more in six from this paper. I want to do a lot more lying in six. And if you didn't already notice it is shipped rolled, which is again another way to have zero creases in this paper. And it's well packaged as well. It's just so How cool is this? Zero creases on the paper. Anyone else that is planning to send paper, roll it like this. Because the last thing you want to do is when you order expensive paper or big paper where the model that you want to make doesn't have extra creases. I mean, this is, this is the way to do it. You're not gonna get any creases like that unless it gets really bashed. But perfect, perfectly smooth. Zero creases. Yeah, it's so nice. How many did I get? I can't, I can't remember how many I got because I ordered it like a few months ago when I put in the order before me and James went back and forth to figure it all out. So, but not he figured it all out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen sheets I ordered. Well, now we'll just look at them. Yeah, lovely paper. So many decisions of what to make with this. Has anyone else used or the middle before? I've only ever used it on two sheets, or on two models. Two of lines and six. Leave, hey, this is the burgundy. Again, it's so crisp. Very thin. Just beautiful. I will need to find the right models to make of these. So vivid. Now I've been meaning to make Kota's leaf insect. I do have a sheet already made, but I can't consider using one of these green ones. I think they will look really nice and stunning. Well, purple. Uh, I was go I was going to say purple then instead of purple. A nice gleam, a nice shine, really nice glow. What to make with this? So if you've never ordered or used or even middle before, it is a handmade paper, meaning every sheet here has slightly different thicknesses. Of course they are the same size, they don't come in perfect squares or cut edges, so you will need to have the equipment to cut your own square. So bear that in mind. And because they are really expensive, you should consider using it for a model that you are extremely comfortable making. You've either made a few times, so you know exactly what to do. Because the last thing you want to do is uh, ruin a sheet. You don't want to bend a sheet like this. You want to try and use it for something that you know that you are going to perfect. made a sheet handmade so I don't know if it's an easy process or a hard process. And I've always wondered can they make this in bigger squares? Definitely be 
something cool to do in the future. James, if you'd look into that, if it's even possible, I think you would definitely meet a lot of people's needs for larger sheets. Of course they would be much more expensive. A nice yellow, maybe a wasp from this. I do need to remake Lang's yellow jacket. Alex Silver. Both sides as well. What insect would look good in pure silver? That's the question. Another white. No, I, I, I wonder what the difference is because having the white has this pattern on it, whereas the others don't. So I wonder why there is a difference like that. so delicate, it is pearl as well, so it is shiny. Um, they don't all become pearl, you need to check the, the names of the sheets, they will either say pearl or not, I believe. Again, really, you can just hear that sound. ASMR, right there. And, we have two more. One more, yeah, that's it. Nice rich purple. So that is basically the unboxing. So much fun to do. Let's just lay them all out for a nice cool picture. have any model recommendations for any of these sheets let me know that would be such a good little help definitely loving that green that looks so nice Is it everyone and um, thank you all for watching I hope you like this paper I hope you go and check James's store origami shop US again it's in the description and the comment make sure to go check it out support him buy some paper um, and it's extremely unique you will love it so that is it everyone thank you all for watching now I need to go and make some more paper wait Camille's calling me Camille